Hello students, in this video we will study about the ideal solution that in the ideal solution what type of interaction is present between solute solute, solvent solvent and solute and solvent. Secondly, we will study about a non-ideal solution, positive and negative deviations example as well as graph also. Interaction between solute, solute, solvent, solvent and when the solution is formed that is solute and solvent. That why in case of the ideal solution that uh, delta V becomes equals to 0 and delta H is equals to zero. In the last video we have seen the graph of ideal solution. So let's understand the interaction between this. So as I told you that solute is represented by B and solvent is represented by A. So here uh, that solute to solute that interaction between B and B solvent solvent that is interaction between A and A. When the solution is formed then that time the interaction is between B and A, this type of the interaction. So what happened exactly in case of the ideal solution that whatever the interaction present between solvent, solvent that is A between A and whatever the interaction between solute and solute that is between B and B is exactly equal to the interaction between A and B after the formation of the solution. So let's understand what's the meaning of the interaction. What I said that even the solvent A and A to this solvent when solute is added that is BP when solute is added that time what happened whatever the force of attraction present between A and A this breaks. This force of attraction, it breaks. This bond break, we can say that. And when the solute is added to the solvent, this interaction also breaks. So, as I told you, in order to break anything, in order to break anything, energy is absorbed. Energy is required. So, amount of energy required to break the interaction between A and A. And here also the energy is absorbed in order to break the interaction between B and B. So here the absorption of energy takes place. Okay? Then after the formation of the solution, when A is attracted by the B, I use the term attracted. Okay? Attraction or when we can or we can say that some sort of bond is formed between A and the B. That time, whenever attraction is there. That time energy is released. That time energy is released. So for example, in order to break the uh, interaction between A and A, the amount of energy absorbed is 50 kilo calories. Okay? And the energy required to break the interaction between B and B required is 50 kilo calories. So total amount of the energy required by the solute solute and solvent solvent to form the solution is equals to 100 kilo calories. This much amount of the energy is absorbed. This much amount of the energy is absorbed. So what happened when A and B are attracted and solution is formed that time the energy release is exactly 100 kilo calories. This means that delta H is 0. Delta H is 0 means neither the reaction is exothermic nor the reaction is endothermic in nature. Okay. So this is clear why delta H is 0. Now let us uh, see why uh, delta V is 0. So here also as I told you this is about the energy when solvent and solute forms the solution. So this time I have taken here solvent. The volume of the solution is 50 ml. Okay. Volume of the solution is 50 ml. It is mixed with the solute. Here the solute volume is 50 ml. So total volume uh, before the formation of the solution is 50 plus 50 that is 100. So after the formation of the solution, uh, the total volume is exactly equals to 
hundred ml. Means no increase, no decrease in the volume, and that is why delta V is zero. So this is what the interaction between uh, solute solute and solvent solvent in case of the ideal solution. So I think it's clear to all of you why in case of the ideal solution that delta V equals to zero, delta H equals to zero, and yes, we know that it follows the Rolle's law. Okay, it follows the Rolle's. Now we will see a non-ideal solution. Non-ideal solution in the last video I told you that uh, they are of two types, positive and uh, negative deviation. So in this we will see about the positive deviated solution. Positive deviated solution. Example of the positive deviated solution, alcohol and acetone. C2H5OH, alcohol, CH3CO, CH3, this is acetone or propanone. Second example, CH3CO, CH3, acetone and carbon disulfide. So here only I, am take, I have taken only two examples of the positive deviation, otherwise many examples are there. So we will study what type of interaction present between solute, solute and solvent, solvent and why in case of positive deviated solution, the conditions are this, that delta V is greater than zero, delta H is greater than zero and this P, the P is the what? Yes. Vapor pressure of the solution is greater than the sum of the partial vapor pressure of solvent and the solute. Okay. okay, so first we will study this uh, interaction and then we will move to the graph. So for example, if alcohol is there. So alcohol C2H5OH. So last year in the 11th class we have studied hydrogen bond. Then when the hydrogen is attached to more electronegative atom and especially yes only three that is fluorine, oxygen and what? Nitrogen. When it is attached to all, any of these uh, more electronegative element then hydrogen bond formation takes place. So in case of alcohol also alcohol C2H5OH. One molecule of alcohol. And this is the second molecule of the alcohol. So when alcohol is present independently in the container, for example, it's a solvent. So it is present in one container. Okay, this is solvent. So what happened? One molecule of the alcohol is attracted by the another molecule of the alcohol through hydrogen bond. Through hydrogen bond, this type of interaction is present between solvent and solvent. So here also this molecule is attracted by the another molecule. So likewise all the molecules of the alcohol present in this container are attracted by each other. Fine? Okay. Then what happened? In the second container where the solute is present, for example, here acetone is present in the second container. Okay. So what happened? There is no as such attraction between acetone but although in acetone dipole dipole interaction is present but it is very weak so that is why we will not discuss here so these are the two containers of solvent and the solute so what happened when this uh, solute is added to the solvent so after the addition of the solute to the solvent here in the container both solvent and solute are present so what happened this solute molecule this solute molecule, it comes in between the alcohol molecule. It comes in between the alcohol molecule and this solute, it breaks the interaction between solvent solvent. It breaks the interaction between the solvent and solvent. Here I use the word, it breaks the interaction. So you know that in order to break anything, in order to break anything, energy is absorbed energy is absorbed energy is absorbed means the reaction is endothermic in nature it means the reaction is endothermic in nature and here we can see delta h is greater than zero enthalpy is greater than zero it means the reaction is endothermic in nature fine now we have to uh, see now why delta v is zero so what i said that Okay, that before the formation of the solution, solvent is present and one molecule of the solvent is attracted by the another molecule of the solvent. 
Okay, so what happened because of this interaction, because of the presence of intermolecular hydrogen bond between alcohol and alcohol, these molecules are coming close to each other. Little bit compactness is there because of the attraction. So what happened? These molecules are coming very close to each other and now they are occupying less volume as expected in the absence of hydrogen bond. अगर यहाँ पर हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड नहीं होता तो ये मॉलिक्यूल्स एक दूसरे के अट्रैक्शन से बिल्कुल फ्री होते एक इधर जाता एक इधर जाता और इनके बीच में जो एम्प्टी स्पेस रहता है वो ज्यादा रहता इज इट फाइन इन द एब्सेंस ऑफ द हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड ईच मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ द अल्कोहल इज फ्री फ्रॉम द अट्रैक्शन ऑफ द अनादर मॉलिक्यूल एंड दे आर फ्री टू मूव हेयर एंड देयर एंड एज कंपेयर टू दिस सॉरी एज कंपेयर टू दिस <coughs> as compared to this uh, empty space more but now here what hydrogen bond is present so that is why compactness is there okay so less volume is occupied by the alcohol molecule but when these acetone molecule are added these acetone molecule they break the interaction they are making these alcohol molecule are free from each other now and this acetone takes the space in between this so all of a sudden what happened when the acetone is added to this these molecules are free from each other and suddenly increase in the volume take place after the formation of the solution so that is why delta v is also greater than 0 so i think this condition is also clear to all of you that why volume increases after the formation of the solution is it clear okay now let's come to this condition that why vapor pressure of the solution is greater than the sum of the partial vapor pressure of solvent and the solute okay so listen carefully here in this container only alcohol is present and i told you that alcohol one molecule of the alcohol is attracted by the another molecule of the alcohol okay force of attraction is there so as alcohol we know that it is volatile in nature so molecules will convert into vapors these molecules will convert into vapors but the conversion of this liquid into vapor is less because of the presence of hydrogen bond is little bit decreased because of the presence of this force of attraction so that is why here whatever the pressure of this solvent is pa fine it is less same in case of the acetone and acetone when acetone and acetone present in the separate container here also as i told you dipole interaction is present theek hai dipole dipole interaction is present so here the number of the vapors formed by alcohol when it is present in its pure state is less now what happened now ab humne kya kiya acetone is added to the alcohol एसिटोन को मैंने अल्कोहल में ऐड कर लिया तो अब क्या हुआ ये फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन ब्रेक हो गए इन दोनों के बीच में जो भी इंटरेक्शन था वो टूट गया अब एक अल्कोहल मॉलिक्यूल अलग हो गया ये अल्कोहल मॉलिक्यूल अलग ये अल्कोहल मॉलिक्यूल अलग कोई इनके बीच में अट्रैक्शन नहीं ये फ्री ये खुश कि मैं अकेला हूं यहाँ पर अब ये अकेला वेपर में बदलेगा ये अकेला वेपर में बदलेगा इस तरीके से लाइक वाइज ईच एंड एवरी अल्कोहल मॉलिक्यूल इज फ्री टू convert into vapors when the solution is formed is free to convert into vapors when the solution is formed so that is why vapor pressure of the solution is greater than the vapor pressure of the sum of partial vapor pressure of solvent and the solute one second i am explaining what happen interaction between solute solute and solvent solvent here uh, in between the solvent molecule for example alcohol intermolecular hydrogen bond is present each molecule is attracted by the other molecule that is why these molecules are little bit very close to each other so occupies less volume okay and this these are the molecules of the uh, solute when the solution is formed then what happen that this solute molecule comes in between the molecule of the solvent here uh, alcohol and the acetone is there it comes in between this so what uh, what does this uh, solute did that it breaks the attraction between alcohol and alcohol molecule it breaks the attraction in order to break as i said that energy is absorbed reaction is endothermic in nature very clear delta h is greater than 
okay fine so in this way for the pressure also let's understand this with the help of the graph first i think in the last video i told you the graph for the ideal solution so this is the line for the ideal solution this is the line for the ideal solution okay straight line it is the line for the ideal solution this is also the line for the ideal solution what happen in case of positive deviation this is the line for the ideal solution that this line should come straight that it is equals to the sum of partial vapor pressure of solute and solid but in case of positive deviation here we get here we get upward curve here we get upward curve matlab this much pressure is greater this is the ideal pressure but this much pressure is greater as compared to the ideal condition so here p is greater than pa plus pb is greater than pa plus pb and why it is so very simple that you can say in the short that interaction between solute solute and solvent solvent is is greater than the interaction between solute and solvent once again interaction between solute solute and solvent solvent is greater than the interaction between solute and the solvent that is why this is the okay condition these these are the result of the positive deviated solution